What's up YouTube, welcome back to Bike Hub Japan. So as you can clearly see, this old boy is no longer in Kansas. So yeah, I am back in England. Um, had some really shitty news, which I'll tell you about in a minute. But first, today's mission is we've got to get to the top of that hill. And if, I don't know if you can see, but there's an old abandoned castle at the top there. So today's mission is to get up there. It's about three or four miles, something like that. So a bit of a hiking day today, but once I'm up there, I'll let you know what's going on. Alright guys, I finally made it to the top of the hill. So it wasn't a castle, it was a beacon that they used to set fires into to uh, do warnings and stuff like that. Maybe impending Vikings like Bolt Bucket. So anyway, to cut a long story short, um, yeah, I had some sad news. My mum passed away on March the 12th. And so I have had to come back to England to sort out the funeral and all the other arrangements that need to be made. Um, so obviously I'm kind of bummed, I'm, well kind of bummed out, that's not very, uh, yeah, you know, I'm bummed out but I'm not very good at displaying my emotions. Anyhow, so now back in England there is a ton of stuff that needs to be done. It's not just a case of uh, get the will read and then that's it, all done and dusted. It's really complicated because my dad is actually in a care home and my mum used to be his power of attorney and uh, look after his uh, finances for him and made decisions on his health care, on his welfare and stuff like that. And so now my mum's gone, I have to apply to be the new um, guardian, as they call it, or deputy. Uh, now this stuff is gonna take months and months and months and if I'm in Japan, it's going to take even longer because all the documents need to be hand signed and posted and then sent back to me and rechecked and signed and then sent to the courts and then sent to the lawyers and all this sort of stuff. So if I'm in Japan, it's just going to be a really, really lengthy process. Now, even with me being in England, they're saying it's going to be at least two or three months. But if I'm back in Japan, it's probably going to be more like half a year. And so uh, my mum left the house to me in the will but I can't sell it because it's now half mine and half my dad's. And so he's not allowed to make legal decisions like that himself until I become his kind of uh, power of attorney until I get that. So there's lots of stuff that needs to be done. And most of it's all practical and really horrible stuff like selling on my mum's property and getting the house on the market and all that kind of stuff that's not nice to do, but it needs to be done. And uh, so, yeah. So I don't really like talking about personal stuff, but I thought some of you guys might have w worried that I haven't made a video for a while. Maybe you thought I'd crashed off the side of a mountain or I'm in jail again or something. But yeah, I just wanted to let you know that I'm uh, back in England because my mum's passed away. So it's pretty shit. But uh, yeah, got to get on with it. I've got no brothers or sisters, so it's down to me. And uh, there's not really much family either. So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to be doing. I am returning to Japan on the 20th of April so by the time you've seen this video I am back in Japan anyway but yeah I've got to return to England for at least a couple of months I think and um, before I left Japan in uh, March I sold my GSXR so that I'd have money to pay the bills in England and put food in my belly and put petrol in the car and all that kind of stuff so I've got no bike now got no job 
and I'm going to be living in my mum's house by myself, being all sad and lonely, so make sure you guys send me some love on Instagram. All right, so I'm going to walk back down to the car. It's really bloody far. I walked, I don't even know where it is, but I think it's where you can see some cars in the distance over there. It's pretty far. I think I walked maybe four and a half miles uphill. So now the return journey shouldn't be too bad. So got to get on with it, but there's a pub at the end of the road. So I'll see you guys in the pub. All right, made it to the pub, had my pint. Maybe it was more than one. Now I've got the long walk home. So I'm following this canal, which I think, maybe it's the Manchester Ship Canal, I don't know. But all I know is that this goes all the way back to my mum's house. So if I just keep walking for about seven miles, I should get home. So wish me luck and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>